Ok, mutika ki go me bere yage. <laughs> Nitahubiri tu dakika kidogo, alafu tutapea wageni wetu na fasi, kwa sababu najua leo, hawana siyasa, wamekuja kuwabudu, sindio? Na wakitaka siyasa, pale inje tutawaekea kamera, tukona TV, maina jenga, pale inje, tukona TV, tukona cameras, alafu hapo inje utakasirika. <laughs> Lakini... <laughs> Lakini hapa ndani usikasirike tuko katika ibada. Si ni ukweli? Tuko katika ibada na tunapenda watu wote. Amen. Sema there was nothing. Angalia mwenzako vizuri, mwambie there was nothing. Mwambie God brought everything. In my sermon today I want to encourage somebody that we are in a new year. And as I said here, during our new year eve, I said, this year has nothing. It is in your faith to pick things and put in this year. You can decide to put victory in it. You can decide to put faith in it. You can decide to bring happiness in this year. And also, you can decide to bring sadness if you want. Huu mwaka hauna kitu. Niwewe uchukue vitu, ukivekaga ndani. Na tukasema, huu mwaka tutaufanya kama ule wimbo, unasemaga, unachukua, unaweka. Na tukasema huu mwaka, Usikubalie wale watu watakataza mikono yako kuchukua uweke. Jana niliandika kwa Facebook yangu. Huu mwaka kuna watu watarudi katika maisha yako. Wengine wata jump back. Wengine wata kusweet talk warudi. Lakini habarudi kwa sababu ni wazuri. They are carrying a destruction tool. Wanataka kukubomoa. My wife, sorry. Sija kutambua leo ni vile mambo imekua mengi. Masaya kakua. Simama karonzo msioka kakuole. Uyo ndiyo mke wangu. Ni kadogo. Kazuri. Eh, ukiwa, ukiwa sawa. Usikule vitu gumu gumu. Sasa. Tukanaria Musa, tukanaria Goda kuinanya kiyaki. Amosa sana. Amen. Pole mama Hassan. Mambo ya mekua mengi. Lakini I understand you know what compassion means. She supports me in compassion. Sisi kazi yetu hata kwetu nyumbani kuna jaga watu. We give because we were given freely. We give. So angalia jilani yako muambia mwaka huu. Hau takuwa shida yangu wewe. Huu ni mwaka wakuchukua na kueka. Na unajua hii Biblia, this verse haitumikangi sana. Genesis 1. <laughs> Watu hata wahubiri, hawapendi kuhubiri hiu maana haina ufunuo. The Bible says in the book of Genesis 1 from verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth was without form. Form we talk hapo. <laughs> Dunia haikuwa na? The apple weke the tight. Dele onake. Dunia haikuwa na form. Mr. Julius. Uyu ni buwana Pastor Johan. Na ni mkamba. Najua mefurai sana kukuona uyu. Kwa enu nuwapi? Tala kangundo uyu. Ni wa huku. Bibi yake ni huyu ndiye pastor wetu wa Nakuru region. She is our overseer Nakuru region. Najua mefurai sana. Dunia haikuwa na form. Huu mwaka watu wanaweza kukuona ni kama hauna form. Lakini gojea the creator of the heavens and earth aanze kazi juu yako. When God created the world, it has no form. There was nothing ni yeye peke yake. There was nothing. Unaangalia maisha yako unashindwa. Reverend Ben alisema huu ni mwaka wa harvest na hata hiyo mbegu hauna. Wait 
until the creator of heavens and earth aanze kukufanyia kazi. Na mimi mwaka huu ninataka Mungu anisaidie tu. Hata sitaki urafiki wa mwanadamu, mimi nataka tu Mungu anisaidie. The earth was without form and void. Darkness was over the face of the deep and the spirit of God was hovering over the face of waters. And now this God who created a formless earth. Kuna usidharau mtu juu hana form. Wewe gojea Mungu aanze kumfanyia kazi. Utashtuka sana wale watu unafikiria hawana form. Mungu akiwaanza kuwatengeneza. Hii mwaka Mungu atarembesha watu. Kwena adokinyaga yewe kila adonyi na matiari. <laughs> Huu mwaka kuna watu Mungu hurembesha paka kibogoyo. Kibogoyo akikwambia la la unapenda hiyo language yake. Juu kazi ya Mungu ni kutengeneza. Nothing is imperfect when God holds Hakuna kitu si cha maana Mungu akikishika. Praise the name of the Lord. Ambia mwenzako wewe ni wa maana sana. Na ninaomba Mungu akushike. Akutengeneze. Ni kuangalie. Haki ya Mungu ni kupende. Na msikue serious sana. Una naweza ambia bibi ya mtu. Na bwana yaka kwa hapa tuone vita tena. There was nothing but God brought everything. Gojea Mungu aanze kufanyia watu wengine kazi hapa. Watu wengine unaweza waangalia, uwachukie tu bure maana they are formless. Wacha Mungu awatolee form. Mimi naomba hii mwaka hii Mungu akutolee form kwa sababu Mungu ndiye hutoa form ya maana. Gaya yako utara form. Maka gaya yako utara form. Dogako ba muhundu. Gai yako rutera formu. Dagago ikia maudo ine mare matoma mudo asonoke. Gai yako rutera formu. Dagago ikia maudo ine mare meta giriro neado. Atenegeda moye to ine ne dira muirete. Bia moza ko form. Niya God. Pastor Mwangi karibu sa. All the way from Elda Maravin. Ako hapa baring. Karibu Pastor Mwangi. Mungu akutole form. When God... Wana siasa, mungu wa kikutolea form. Hakuna kitu wezi kuwa. Praise the name of the Lord. The earth was without form. Haikuwa. Now, this God akaanza kutolea dunia form. Akasema, and God said, verse 3, let there be light and there was light. Sasa mungu wa meanza kutengeneza dunia yake. Akasema, let there be light and there I Muangaza ukakuja. May God bring light in your ear 2024. Usipitie katika giza. Alafu, siya kupitia katika giza. Hata wewe usipitizwe katika giza. Kama kuna mtu wanaolewa hapa, usipitizwe kwa giza. Ni kwa muangaza hapa. Praise the name of the Lord. Hapa. Kama hata kureta hapa. Mwambie, and God said, let there be. Nadia kuna watu huolewa kama wamefichwa kama bangi. Kama anakutaka, akuleta wapi? Natulizema huu mwaka na wakuchukua na kueka. Akuleta hapa kama bibi ya Frank. Sio umuniambiake kwa ofisi, Reverend, unajua mwiri. Ilishidu wa kugojea Tukaona musamaha diyo rahisi kuomba Hapana Let there be light And God brought light Katika maisha yako Muangaza ufatikani Katika biyashara yako Sasa ipate muangaza Katika watoto wako Muangaza upatikane Katika familia yenu Muangaza upatikane Na kama wewe ndiyo utakua muangaza Enda uangaze katika hiyo familia Enda uangaze katika hiyo ndoa Enda uangaze katika hiyo biyashara Enda uangaze Rise and shine For your light has come Praise the name of the Lord Mungu akatolea dunia 
Praise the name of the Lord. Ye gayarod tira form. Mungu akikutolea form, hautangangana. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And God saw that the light was good. And God separated the light from darkness. May God separate you from people who want to darken your life. Si tuliona msichana mrembo jana amedungwa na kisu. Ni mtu aliletwa katika maisha yake aweke giza. Msichana mrembo ona hata nikiwa pasta unaangalia kwa simu. No kona viumaga hii kini kidu kiegagia thi amen. Unaona kab na ni na mimi ni pasta. Ninaangalia kwa simu ninaona guy. Haki hii kitu mzuri imeenda. Because the Bible says, and God saw that the light was good. So, everything that God made was good. Lakini mwanaume anachukua kisu. Anadunga mustiana murembo kabisa. Kwa sababu katika siku za huyo mustiana, kuliingia mtu aweke giza. Katika mwaka huu, nina kuombea mungu anapoweka mambo katika maisha yako. Kama kuna watu wa giza ambao wanaletwa kukuwekea giza, mungu wa waondoe. Mungu wa waangamize kabla waweke giza. Kuna watu watakuja, wajifanya ni marafiki wa biashara ili wakueke giza. Hiyo siku isifike, wanapotaka kueka giza. May God separate light from darkness. Mungu watenganishe muangaza na giza. Sahi kuna kimudu tu kimekaa mahali. Kina jitayarisha kukugonga. Hata sisi wa Kenya. Mwenye mereto watueke giza. Badala ya muangaza, mungu watuondole. May God separate light from darkness. Eh? Nyabu wa kolone kama uro okura hea duma maisha ini maku. Niehere. And don't fear to lose people. Nyinyi muna wako panga sana kuluzu watu. Mimi ni kotayari kuluzu watu. Ambao wanatareta giza katika kanisa hili. I am ready to lose people who are not of light in my life. Mate komo igaga, moishi, nawe okoma ka mudhenya, aga okira otuku, todwe dete duma. Mwizi peke yake ndiye hulara mchana. Alafu usiku anamka maana maandiko yanasema anapenda giza. Wakati tulimaliza kesha hapa, Bishop Harrison Nganga akanipigia simu. Akaniambia unajua nini? Uko na mwangaza. Hakuniambia niko na Mungu, aliniambia uko. Kwa sababu mwangaza ulijumbwa na nani? Na akasema tarehe 28 nitasoma huko. Praise the name of the Lord. When you have light, everybody will understand you. Everybody will see you. Wale watu wakonagiza, huwa hatu wajui. Na mimi nitakataza watu mwaka huu. If you sense danger in somebody, don't force yourself to them. If you sense danger, mimi I wonder how a lady can follow a man wajipime ukimwi Watumia mipira harafu wa wane. It is only darkness that can operate such kind of an operation. If you have a doubt in, a, in somebody, mimi nikiwa na doubt ndani ya marafiki zangu, mimi huwa ondokea. Na mimi, ni, hii maisha mimi nimesaidiwa na kuwa don't care. Usiokoke yote, bakisha kamoja ka don't care. Watu watakuzoea sana. Bakisha kamoja kakuambia watu sitaki ujinga. Unasikia wewe. Because watu wakiona wewe ni mpore, ni megu terema muno. Wata kukanyaga, sana. Hata hii online, inatakaka don't care. Wale watu wameja online, wengi wakona shetan. Akiona mwana siyasa JCM, anasema kanisa imekua politiko. Kwani hawa ni wanyama? Sini watu wanataka mungu. Kwani hawataki kusikia hivo nasema? Kwa sababu watu wengine ukiwa kubalia sana, wata kukanyaga maisha yako vibaye. Ato waigine meko kote, hata kwenye umeolewa, wata wajue you are no nonsense. Hata kwenye umeoa, wata wajue hata wewe upendi ujinga. Hii dunia razima ujipakisie, 1%. Ya kukabiriana na hawa. Usifikiria umekaa karibu na mtumuzuli zana. 
hao huyo mtu umekaa na yeye anaweza geuka ende tai ikiwa mtu anaweza kukua na ametoka kwako mmetoka kukis na anakudunga ni huyo mwenye haja kis Watu wanaweza geuka in a span of 3 seconds. Mtu anakuwa tofauti. Don't over trust people. Watu wale ni wagiza. If God separated darkness from light, na zote ni zake. Sini yari umba giza. Na sini yari umba mwangaza. Kwa nini alizitenganisha? Na ni zake. God separated darkness from light. Na ni zake zote hata wewe anza kujitenganisha na watu. Hadi umesikia nimekwambia hii kanisa mwaka utafu kuza watu sana. Kama huna tabia urumisha gari songa. We cannot entertain people who are full of darkness when God brought light. Praise the name of the Lord. Ya mwisho. God called the light day and the darkness he called it night and there was evening and there was morning the first day and god said let there be an expanse in the midst of the waters and let it separate waters from other waters and god made the expanse separated the waters that were under the expanse from the waters and were above the expanse and it was so And God called the expanse heaven and there was evening and there was morning the second day. Praise the name of the Lord. And God said, let the waters under the heavens be gathered together into one place and let there be a dry land appear. It was so. Mungu akasema wacha kuwe na maji na kuwe na dunia. Hiyo dunia ndio inauzagwa na akina Elias na akina Mheshimiwa Madai. Praise the name of Jesus. Hiyo dunia ndio iliundwa. Akina Elias wa Uzange, Elias na Madhai ni nyinyi mnafaa kuishi hapa kwa magoti. Juu mwenye aliunda dunia mnauza dunia yake. Ati wauzaji wa mashamba, mnauza dry land. Ambayo Mungu alifanya nini? Aliunda. Akaifanya iwe. That God who made a dry land ndiye alituambia tukiruka mwaka kuna mahali yamekutayarishia pa kujenga Sije tuliambiwa in the book of Psalms ilisema kuna mahali Mungu amekuandalia pa pa kujenga How many are believing that May you receive in Jesus name Akatengeneza kila kitu Halafu Mungu alipomaliza kuunda hizi vitu zote akaangalia dunia imejaa viti miti akaangalia imejaa maua akaangalia akaona iko na maji akaona nyota mwangaza jua zote ziko na mwezi akasema na zote ni maridadi what do i want to say may your life become beautiful may god become your beautifier mungu akurembeshe mwaka huu na mimi mwaka huu kama nilivyosema Mungu atapanua na atapatia watakatifu mavuno mwaka huu ninakuombea kama vile Mungu aliangalia akaona there was nothing akaanza kuweka aanze kuweka vitu katika maisha yako kama hauna amani Mungu aweke amani kama hauna furaha Mungu akuweke furaha kama hauna imani ya wokovu Mungu alete imani ndani ya maisha yako kama hauna watoto funguka tumbo yako sasa na uanze kupata kile ambacho haujawahi pata Praise the name of the Lord Habia mwenzako anachukua anaweka Mimi mkiniona mwaka huu na ndege na ndege Mkiniona na ndege Mnajua ni Mungu amechukua, ameweka. Mwaka huu siitishi vitu za ujinga. Nitaitisha vitu hata Mungu akiwa mbinguni atasikia na ni kweli kimeniitisha. Hata nyinyi wanasiasa msiitishe vitu ndogo. Atuko kwa magoti unaambia Mungu, Mungu angalia, angalia Mungu. He 
hiyo kiti ya MCA ikienda na Mungu anataka kukupatia ubunge. Sasa mpaka Mungu anaangalia na shindwe sasa huyu na hata mwili yake na kiwango chake ni cha ubunge. Analilia kiti ya MCA ya nini? Ashide akiamshwa usiku watoto wamekuwa wa moto. <laughs> Najua sisi hata mtoto akikuwa moto tunamshanga MCA. Mheshimiwa mwanani hiyo. <laughs> Najua uwezi amsha president mtoto amekuwa moto. Jipime kiwango chako na ndio mwaka huu mimi nataka kuwa bishop. <laughs> Juu hicho ndicho kiwango changu aitisha Mungu kiwango chako Mungu aliweka dunia zile vitu aliona ni za kiwango chake Halafu wakati Mungu alimaliza hivyo sasa akaumba shida ya dunia Dunia ilikuwa mzuri sana ikiwa na vitu zote alipoleta mtu ikaharibika Alafu akaangalia aka akaambia watu wale walikuwa binguni watakatifu na wale walikuwa viumbe huko viu binguni akawaambia Nimeweka vitu zote duniani na ni mrembo. Akaweka milima. Akaweka ni hata Mount Kenya. Ile mainajenga anapenda. Hata hiyo ni kazi ya Mungu. Ni yeye aliweka Mount Kenya wapi? Mungu akaangalia akaona nitatuta vitu zote lakini wacha niweke mainajenga kamulima kakuetaka kuomba hapo. Akamwekea kamulima wapi? Hapo. Mungu ndiye aliumba kila kitu. Hata kwa kina genana kwa kina kalozo msioka. Ni mungu waliumba. Alijua kwa nini munakuwa na shida ya maji. Anajua. Anajua ni kwa nini. Hukule kukine kukwa na maji. Na kwenu mukiona mvua muna inakuwa Christmas. Aend ya alijua. Nilikuwa naambia genana. Kama kuna watu nina hurumi yaga ni wakamba. Haka nilisa kwa nini levu. Nika mambia sasa wakamba. Mutafanya nini hiyo kamba ikikatika. <laughs> Praise the name of the Lord. Every situation was created by God. Na huyo Mungu ambaye aliona dunia haina kitu, anajua maisha yako kuliko dunia. Yeye ndiye ataweka. Na msijishumbue, hakuna mtoto hataenda shule. Kwa sababu Mungu anajua kuweka pesa katika mfuko wako ili upeleke mtoto shule. Hata maisha ikiwa ngumu, tutatoboa tu. Tutatoboa tu. Eh? Hey. Tutatoboa tu ikiwa wengine wetu walizaliwa mkata ikiwa five bob. Sasa hizi iko 100, huwa tunanunua ama hatununui. Ni wakati walipata sukari ikiwa 10 bob. Simulipata. Sasa hizi iko pesa ngapi? 200, mnakunywa ama hamkunywi. Tutatoboa tu aliyeona dunia haina kitu, anajua hata sisi hatuna kitu, atatuwezesha kupata na kutoka leo usianze kusema ati hutajiweza utajiweza upende upende unajua wa Kenya ni wafani wanasema kama maisha ni magumu alafu unaona mtu na wiki ya 5000 tutaweza kwa sababu aliyeweka vitu kwa dunia ni yeye anatuongoza may god put whatever that is missing in your life wale ambao hapa mmekuwa mkisumbuliwa na mwili Bishua mutaona uze wenu kwa macho. You will step in your old golden days. Sasa Mungu na hapo ndiyo namaliza ndiyo tutokee mapema. Mungu wakati aliangalia akaona hakuna mtu. Kwa sababu Mungu aliumba shida mbili kwa mfululizo. Na hata yeye alijua ameumba shida mbili. Huyo mmekaa na yeye ni shida lakini ni shida mzuri Mungu aliunda shida mzuri juu kama huyo mtu mwingine hangekuwa hii dunia ungeboeka Kwa hivyo mtu kama anakuboa katika maisha muondoke Hii maisha niko shaja murana Maisha maya Tero sio muri gani o jaja mure Ambia mwenzako hebu nichangamshe Mwambie hii mwaka mimi hutanipea huzuni Mwambie hii mwaka unichangamshe ama uende. Praise the name of the Lord. Najua nilikuwa napenda the style of Moi ruling. Moi angechoshwa na wewe alikuwa anakuvuta kazi kwa barabara. Unaweza uuliza mheshimiwa Karonza Msioka, they know. 
Moi alikuwa anasimama anasema na kuanzia leo JJ Gamuthu sio wasiri wa elimu Wika leta kwa kumuzi ukaikuwa na wako eto minister wake kwa kwa gai Hiyo ndiyo nataka roho mpate ya kuvuta marafiki ambao hawana faida mwaka huu katika maisha yako usiwekewe watu ambao hampelekani mahali Usiwekewe watu ati juu unampenda juu unamhurumia Kwa sababu watu wa kusukuma bills wachana nao hii mwaka kama ni walevi mtu ajinunulie Mukienda chama wa mama mtu ajisimamie Kuna watu hunyamaza mkifanya menu Munaikia mahali munaanza kuitisha leta kukumbiri nyama nusu ugali moja na kachumbari kama nyamaza hivi Na hao watu ni wafane huwa wananawa mbele ya menu. <laughs> Mimi hao watu siwahitaji katika maisha yangu mwaka huu. Halafu ugali kikuja, yeye haumi kama nyinyi na makucha mwisho. Yeye anakata. Na mkitisha pombe, yeye huitisha zile vitu ambazo haziripwi. Hata anapata sauti ya kuitisha waiter. Wewe unajifanya ndio unamuuliza umenunua hapana lakini ule msichana wa kuuza hana adabu Una, unagoja aitishe unafikiria ataitisha kama kile mmeitisha unasikia anaitisha kile kitu hakiuzwi unauza ni nini customer let ice cube <laughs> worthless friends should not enter into your 2024 basket Wacha waondoke. Wewe tembea peke yako na ufike. Mwaka wako usiwekwe takataka ndani. Watu wengine hamkupelekana nao 2023 mahali na bado umejishikilia kwa wao. Wao walipata opportunities hawakukwambilia. Na bado unawafuata. Ndio wakipata pesa wakutume jacket kwa gari usiku. Jioni unapatiwa funguo. Shika funguo. Hebu niendee jacket. Na juzi wewe unanunua unaharakisha nilienda na marafiki wengine wakati siku na gari na nikaomba Mungu usiwahi ninyima gari tena na mwaka huu Mungu asikunyime gari kama unahitaji gari ni kitu moja hufanya ujulikane watu wako na madharau nikabebwa na watu na sasa hizo nilikuwa dikon huko ya APCA kwa hivyo mimi sikunywi tukaigizwa mahali afuta mazishi so mwenye amenibeba yeye anakunywa so mimi nimekaa mahali soda nimeitisha ine tubu imejaa Na ujue soda uwezi itisha ingine. Unajua unaweza kunywa pombe uitisha ile iko juu. So siwezi itisha 2 lita juu nimekunywa tudogo. So ni makoko tu na kaakana. Na kaakaa tena kigas kina nitoka. Paka nasema si roho mtakatifu anitoke hivyo. Sasa ile shida ilikuwa Ilikuwa huyu mtu akitaka kusimama kwenda choo ninafikiria anafanya nini? So, hata akisimama kunawa mikono nilikuwa na shida hivi. Ninaona sio anaenda ninasimama tena. Paka mara ya mwisho nikamfuata kwa choo. Kama amesimama kwa Yuraino. Na mimi na sina sisikii kwenda haja lakini ukihera na geiko huyu. nikajaribu sana wakati aliniona akaniambia ikifika wakati wa kwenda nitakwambia nikaambia Mungu nipatie gari yangu niendage wakati nataka na ninatoka wakati nataka if god did it to reverend ben may this year god give you you are comfort in jesus name may you get your comfort in jesus name nilisubuka sana siku hiyo akisimama nasimama Aki, akikaa ninakaa akitoka ninatoka juni yeye amenibeba na tuko mbali kile ambacho unahitaji ku mwaka huu Mungu akipatiane mikononi mwako kile ambacho unatamani ndio u mwaka huu 
Mungu akilete mikononi mwako. Ambia mwenzako there was nothing. God brought everything. Simameni tuombe. Amen. Nataka ushike mkono wa mtu mwingine umuombe. Ambia Mungu weka vitu vyote ndani ya maisha ya huyu mtu. Ambia Mungu hakukuwa na chochote. Lakini ukaweka. Just open your mouth and tell God to put things in that life. Ambia Mungu niweke vitu vyote ndani ya maisha ya huyu mtu katika jina la Yesu. Ambia Mungu niweke uhai. Weka neema. Weka kibali. Weka utukufu ndani ya maisha ya huyu mtu. Ambia Mungu ninakuomba weka vitu vyote ndani ya maisha ya huyu mtu katika jina la Yesu. Mungu wetu ni warehema. Anajua kuweka vitu ndani ya maisha ya mtu. Ambia Mungu kile huyu mtu anatamani mpatie. Ambia Mungu kile huyu mtu anatamani mpatie. Ambia Mungu huyu kile, mtu kile ki, anataka weka katika maisha yake. Unajua anahitaji amani weka. Unajua anahitaji kibali weka. Unajua anahitaji nguvu mtie nguvu katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Ambia Mungu vile vitu vinahitajika weka. In the name of Jesus Christ. Ambia Mungu weka ndani ya huyu mtu. Maisha mema weka. Kibali weka. Utukufu weka katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Mtia amani. Leta uponyaji. In the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. We give you praise and all the honor. Because you are the Lord. Jesus, we give you praise. Father, we thank you. Tunajua umetusikia. Maombi yetu ya fike kwako. Father, we thank you. Mwaka huu weka vitu ambavyo hatu kudhania tutapata. Weka mambo ambayo tulidhani. Hayata kuja katika maisha yetu. Tukiwa katika hiyo hali. Kama ungependa kumpokea yesu kama mokozi wa maisha yako. Nataka ukimbia hapa haraka hili tukuombe. Our core aim of gospel is to win souls hallelujah jcm let us celebrate jesus let us celebrate jesus jcm jcm let us celebrate jesus watu wanakuja kuokoka haraka haraka wakimbie hapa tuombe tunataka kumaliza haraka hili tuongeleshwa na viongozi wetu our core aim of gospel is to win souls hallelujah Tupigie Yesu makofi mazuri. Watu anakuja kuokoka katika jina la Yesu. Amen weka huru kweli. Naimba sasa haleluya. Kwa msalaba nimepata. Kutoka katika utumwa. Amen weka huru kweli. Naimba sasa haleluya Kwa msalaba nimepata Kutoka katika utumwa Nimeokoka na furahi Na dhambi zangu zimetoka Nataka kutumikia Mokozi wangu siku zuti Amen just look at what the Lord is doing. More than 60 people coming to Jesus. This is a harvest. This is a harvest. Pigia Yesu makofi mazuri tumeanza kuvuna. Wow. Nataka tuwaombe. Is okay mama. Shikae mabega. Kiona mtu amevunjika moyo. Amen. When Yanalia watch earlier, it is good to receive Jesus Christ in your soul. Pastor Angena assist there. Natakatwa elekeza mikono. Nawarudi and you mayangu katika ombila toba. Sema bona yesu. 
naja kwako naja kwako mimi ni mwenye dhambi mimi ni mwenye dhambi anayehitaji msamaha anayehitaji msamaha nimekuja kwako Yesu nimekuja kwako Yesu uniokoe uniokoe Yesu mwana wa Mungu Yesu mwana wa Mungu nihurumie nihurumie hurumia moyo wangu hurumia moyo wangu safisha moyo wangu safisha moyo niumbie moyo mpya niumbie moyo mpia. moyo wa kunyenyekea moyo wa kunyenyekea unaokupenda Kupenda. Kuanzia leo Yesu. Kuanzia leo Yesu. Nimekubali kuokoka. Nimekubali kuokoka. Ili unioshe. Ili unioshe. Uoshe dhambi zangu. Uoshe dhambi zangu. Unitakase. Unitakase. Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Yesu mwana wa Mungu. Kwa kinywa changu. Kwa kinywa changu. Nimekukiri. Nimekukiri. Kama mokozi wangu. Kama mokozi. Mahali singefika. Mahali singefika. Bila wokovu. Bila wokovu. Sasa nifikishe. Sasa nifikishe. Kile singeguza bila wokovu. Sasa niguze. Sasa. Mahali singependwa. Mahali singe. Sasa wanipende. Sasa wanipende. Nimeokoka. Nimeokoka. Unisamehe. Unisamehe. Kwa jina la Baba, Nimeokoka. la Mwana na la Roho Mtakatifu. Amen. Father in the name of Jesus. I bring these all people to you so that Father you receive them in the kingdom. Forget about every sin that they have sinned. Remove pain in their lives. Rejection, poverty. Father, revive them again. Deliver them from any anger that had begotten their lives. I know that today the kingdom of heaven is happy because we have harvested souls for you Jesus Christ. The Bible says and when the heaven shall be revealed, you shall draw men to yourself. Thank you for drawing these people into this church so that they worship you in truth and in spirit. Wapokee katika ufalme wako in the name of the Father, the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Ibada itakapoisha. Yaani hata wewe unakuaga church na huko umeokoka. Na umekaa hapa miezi hiyo yote. Mnaona neema inaanza kufanya kazi. Huyu namjua huyu. Si umekuwa hapa miezi yote. Na haja umeokoka leo. I thank God for changing you. Tukimaliza ibada, msiende kama hamjapaka wa mafuta. Pastor Julius and Pastor Ngena watawapata hapa penye Mheshimiwa Maina Jenga ameketi, mtaketi hapo atawachukua manamba zenu na majina yenu. Kama nyinyi ni wamama, mtaingia kikundi cha angalia yule mama ako nyuma.